In this problem, an isolated firecracker explodes, releasing five joules of energy. And the, these two pieces come off, and they're unequal in size. One is 25 grams, and the other is 75 grams. And I'm trying to figure out what percentage of the energy goes in to each of these objects. Now, what I've just drawn is a, a little x-axis that's tilted to line up with the way things are lined up in the problem. So we don't lose any generality by doing that. And if momentum is conserved, so P initial equals P final, then my initial momentum is zero. And my, the momentum of the 25 gram mass will carry a minus sign. So I have negative, if I use SI units, 0 0.025 kilograms times the magnitude of V1 final. All right, so the direction is leftward. Magnitude of V1 is a positive, plus 0 0.075 kilograms magnitude of V2 final. And I can get a relationship between V1 final and V2 final here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this term to both sides. And I find out that V1 final is three times V2 final. So that's going to be handy to have. Then I look at my energy analysis. So I know that the total kinetic energy of these two pieces is going to be five joules. So I have one half 0 0.025 times V1 final squared, that's the kinetic energy of the small piece, plus one half 0 0.075 V2 final squared, kinetic energy of the big piece, and that's got to be equal to five joules. So I'm going to clean this up before I do a substitution on it. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by two to get rid of those one halves. And then I'll multiply both sides by a thousand just to clean up the decimals. So I end up with 25 V1 final squared plus 75 V2 final squared equals 10,000. Now I'm going to substitute from my the result that I got from my momentum equation. V1 final can be replaced with 3 V2 final. And I've got a uh, three squared V2 final squared in there times 25. So that's nine times 25. That gives me 225 in this term. 225 V2 final squared plus 75 V2 final squared equals 10,000. So that's 300 V2 final squared equals 10,000. And I'm going to go ahead and solve that the rest of the way in my calculator. So 10,000 over 300 square rooted. And I get 5.77 meters per second. If we head back to my momentum equation, then V1 final is going to be three times that. So multiply by three and I get 17. 3, 2. And then the real question was, what percent of that 5 joules goes into each of these objects? So I can get the energy of each one now. So K1, the energy of the small mass, is 1 half times the mass, 0 0.025, times the speed, squared and I get 3.75 joules and if I take that 3.75 joules and divide by the 5 joules total that was distributed between the objects I get exactly 75 percent all right that means 25 percent of the energy would be in the big piece but just to verify 
that it works. I'm going to compute it. And I get 1.25 out of this. And 1.25 over 5 joules total is indeed 25%. So that's an interesting result. If I have it split so that one object is three times the mass of the other, then the lighter one takes away 75% of the energy and the heavier one takes 25% of the energy.